what's up guys welcome back to another video and today we are trying to see if he would take these they're like little fish that i got from pet smart just just today and if he does end up liking these then what i will be using these for is for um you know like motivational treats to get him, you know, like further in training. If not, then I'll just keep on furthering my search to see exactly what he likes. So it won't be too much of a problem if he doesn't. Pedro is up there just beating it up. And sorry for the shakiness of the camera. I'm, I kinda have my tripod lost right now, so. Yeah, that's the reason for that. See if he wants these. Oh, he seems to really be interested, even more interested than he is when it comes to the mealworms. Let's get you up here. Oh yeah, yeah he loves this thing. I wonder if he'll be able to swallow it all though. Go! Go! Probably have to start cutting go. him in half in the future. Go! 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 Oh, go! No, he handled that. Go! I still wanna cut it in half just to be safe. So yeah, the definitely, this definitely works as a nice motivational type of treat just to get him further in the training. So I don't know, it might even become a part of his diet. These, he seems to really like them and I don't see anything on the packaging nor through um, the, the look of them that is really alarming to me. So. They just might become a treat, but in the future, I definitely want to, you know, cut them in half, you know, just have them something more, you know, just something better for him to like, you know, swallow because it is pretty long. But yeah, that's the first part of this video. I'm just going to start his, I'm going to start his socialization training a little bit later today, but yeah, it should still go well. But I'll see y'all then. And just like that, we're back. Now, we're back outside. I don't know if y'all seen my short, but um, basically I, would, I have him on a dino, a repti leash. Well, I almost said dino leash. But I have him on a repti leash. And I said in that video, I just wanna see if I can like, you know, let him go where he wants to. So he can like figure that he can go wherever he wants to, just can't hide under things, right? But now I wanna try like um, feeding him while he's on the red leash, especially now that we have these treats that he likes so much and seeing if like, you know, that can bring him closer to the idea of being on the leash. So I'll just see if he wants it in general, like if he's interested. This can probably like show him like yeah, you're on the leash, but like that doesn't stop you from being able to get what you want. But just if he wants it though, I'm not gonna force him to have it. He's already sniffed it and he turned away from it. Oh, oh there you go. So he's ate the first one. I want to see if he, I can get him closer to me for this next one, even if it's just by a little bit. There's another piece right here. Oh, there you go. I'm trying to loosen up the grip that he has on the leash. So come over here a little bit. Just 
this is okay. That one has a little bit of the gut hanging out. I want to see if I can get that gut. Oh, yeah. There we go. Probably get the gut to the crayfish. Sir? Are you interested? Come this way. Good. There you go. Do you like a fish head? Okay, I feel like that's going to be all I can get out of him for today. He has done pretty good. He's going pretty far. Last time I did this, I don't think I've um, included it in a video yet. I'll probably put a clip of it in here next. But I did this with new ones. I'll probably put the clip in. But he was not going for it at all. He didn't even have any interest in the new ones. But I'm glad I stumbled across that those fish today like way more interested in those fish so just like i'm not yanking him too hard when he tries to go under anything i just do my finger like this because my hips weights nothing compared so i'm not really trying to hurt him at all just like nudging him away from it a little bit but yeah that's all for this part I was able to get him to eat successfully and I'll update y'all. Okay, so we're back in the room. Um, harness is off. Basically what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put him back in the cage and I'm gonna let him have some time to himself. And then I wanna try something else when it comes to this. I wanna try like offering food, but then like having him like come up his little ramp and like, like, you know, like just like fall into my hand, if that makes sense. That's really what I wanna try. Like, just like see if you like eat the food while being in my hand. But yeah, I didn't even see his head right there. I'll just eat that a bit. But yeah, I wanna try letting him eat the food while he's in my hand, but I won't do that for a little bit, just to give him some time because he was just outside. But yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm about to do that. Okay, guys, we're back. Well, first, I'm gonna have to draw him out of his um, little water bowl spot right there, and then try my best to get him over here. And again, I don't have my tripod with me, so that's why it's, the camera's so shaky. Sorry about that. Okay, there it goes. Trying to fix the phone. It's kind of pretty hard to do. I ain't gonna lie. If I had the tripod, I probably just would have set, set it up somewhere. If I see that he starts to back up right from right there while I'm doing this, then I would just like end the video right there. Because that obviously means he does not want to be bothered. Oh, 
while he's sniffing it. Oh, there's his little snout, if y'all can see that. He's probably turning around. Oh, okay. He was right there. There you go. There you go. That's one. Uh, the second one. Let's try to get you over here. This is gonna be hard. Uh, <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I kinda got messed up right there. Kinda backed them up a little bit. I'm gonna try to bring the ramp right here instead. Though it may be a little harder because he's going to be coming from this side now. Don't know if y'all can see that he's going to be coming from this side now because he just went right back around there. But we can try it out anyway. Unless I can get him to come back around here. Oh, no, he's, he's completely right there. Okay, he's getting up. Come on up. There he goes. He's on, he's practically on my hand. Don't know if you guys can see that. And then he backs up again. Oh, uh, you don't want it? Figured out what I was doing. Yeah, I'll just give it to him if he goes for it. Not interested anymore. Okay, well, at least we got that far today. I don't know how much of that that y'all seen, but he was in my hand. Next time, I will make sure I have the tripod so y'all can see the whole thing. Sorry about that today, guys, but. That's it for today. I'll catch y'all guys on the next one. And uh, see you guys next time. What I'm trying now is to see if I can motivate him like through like harness training. I heard that they could be trained simulated dogs. So that's what I'm gonna be trying today. Hopefully seeing if I can like, you know, like get him to like move forward, like, you know, just like with the mule worm for now if he would even eat out here I'm not sure if he would even eat out here he doesn't seem interested at the moment I'll bring it a little closer to show him that it's food probably doesn't even feel comfortable eating out here that one looks dead no it's not He doesn't seem too interested in it, but. <laughs> oh, that just fell in the crack. Will he survive to be a booty? Come out. Okay. That's it. I might move like a cobra, but I'm far from a snake. Say I live in the moment. Got an expensive taste. She try to lie for the money.